a lot has been said about hip hop in Nigeria right now. Some people say it sucks a whole lot. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think it sucks right now? Do you think hip hop is still very good in Nigeria? I mean, it's crazy to just even think about how hip hop has turned 44, like in general, most especially in the US, right? Then bring it back to Nigeria and think of how hip hop started, how hip hop has evolved, and it is where it is. Definitely, hip hop isn't where it should be. Um, I think we've lost track, we've gone off track, um, we've lost the focus, you know. Just talking about all the elements of hip hop in general, we've kind of lost the focus, and that's basically because we don't have real ambassadors or frontliners of hip hop doing what they call hip hop music. But it's funny you say that because if I go outside on the road right now, on any major road in Nigeria, I'll see certain hip hop artists on billboards. I see certain hip hop artists getting big endorsements. So how come at the end of the day, people are saying hip hop music is not where it's supposed to be right now, or hip hop culture is not where it's supposed to be right now, and we see these artists actually making strides into com a corporate Nigeria? So, I mean, there are a few guys who you call, and we'll talk about them, you know, in, the, in this discussion, who are, you know, who have taken up that mantle and are doing well. But, like, generally, hip hop artists don't even understand what hip hop is anymore. They don't even understand the elements of hip hop, and they don't even understand why they need to be hip hop artists. So, what happens, or what has happened in the past years is that a lot of people have thought or have started out as hip hop artists and have just you know transformed themselves into pop artists because they feel being pop artists means you are better accepted or generally accepted so you can see all these guys on the billboards and whatever but if you look at their music if you look at the kind of videos they put out and the kind of culture you know they express it is in hip-hop yeah, so you're primarily blaming the decline of hip-hop in Nigeria on hip-hop artists, which are mainly the rappers? Definitely, you have to blame them. But if you ask them, they'll tell you, well, it's the ecosystem. Well, it's the music industry. Well, it's how people consume music in the country that made them change that way. But generally, they have to take the fall for it because we still have genuine hip-hop artists who make fantastic music, hip-hop music, and still imbibe all the other elements of hip-hop into their music and into their brand, and people still respect them. So. Essentially, people are pressured not to be hip-hop artists, to be pop artists, because pop artists are generally more accepted in this country. Okay, but these hip-hop artists will tell you that rap is not viable, or hip-hop is not viable in Nigeria right now. Do you, do you believe this is? Honestly, no. That's like a shitty, lame excuse to say hip-hop music is not viable. Most, pro most times, the problem we have is that you have hip-hop artists, right, who do hip-hop music, generally great music, but are pressured to move into other spaces because they want to tap into other crowds or other markets that don't generally accept hip-hop music. Why? Because those other genres of music have better platforms to express their art from shows to, you know, working with agencies, working with, you know, brands and establishments, while hip-hop seems to have its own, you know, niche area. And people want to just blow. Artists right now in Nigeria, a large percentage of artists aren't making music because they want to make art. It's business. You don't come to work because you want to get paid. You come to work because you want to create interesting content, right? Because you want to shoot facts only, because you want to write those amazing articles and shoot those nice videos. You are motivated by your passion to create content to share with the world. Essentially, people who create art aren't motivated by money like most of the time, right? You just want to express yourself in the best way you can and express and share it with the world. The problem we have with generally now with musicians in Nigeria is that making music is a means to an end, which is let me make this music to make money, right? So there is no passion. It's not passion fueled. Same thing, and this is why people would move from one genre that they're really good at to making pop records that they are not really great at because they want to make more money at one point in their lives than what they are making now. And that is what has really influenced hip hop in Nigeria, where you have a lot of rappers who make rap music, but have, have tilted or have diluted their music so much that it has lost the elements of hip hop. Okay, it's good you mention platform now. Other genres of music, especially pop, they already have that platform where you can easily blow, you can easily become famous and get your money. Who is to blame for the lack of a pl platform for hip-hop in Nigeria? Is it the artists, is it the brands, or is it the media? Um, I won't say it's the media. I won't even say it's the brands. 
I think, you know, it's at a position where, look at hip hop in the 70s, when hip hop was born, right? We've all watched Get Down, we've seen how it is, we all read these books and, you know, watched these documentaries. Disco music was at, you know, its peak. You had, you know, Donna Summers, all these guys making amazing music. The, the genre hip hop wasn't even born yet, but you had these passion field guys who were rapping over break beats. Technical, right? Two records, scratch together, elongate the break beat, and that is how hip hop was born. So, why is it that we don't have passion filled hip hop artists who, despite you know, the light being, I mean, the light not being shined on hip hop right now in the country? Because whether we like it or not, hip hop is really young in Nigeria, right? Shout out to Junior and Pretty, shout out to Manny AK, the guys who did hip hop in the 90s, but it didn't really take off in the 90s. Hip hop took off 99. Tribe, shout out to LD, KB, and Free, Mode 9, Rugged Man, and it kind of just went up from there, right? So it's still pretty young. We're still looking at some 17 years. RB, Fuji music, gospel music, juju, these genres have been around since the 70s, fam. High life has been around since the 50s. Hip hop is barely 17 years old, and we're giving it a tough time. And we need pioneers, people who will take on hip hop. And not just the music, because rap is one element. They are looking at breakdancing, graffiti, beatboxing, entrepreneurship, right? Yeah. Who would take all these elements, combine it and use it in their music and blend it with their brand and promote it to the point where hip-hop now becomes generally acceptable. But seeing some artists do that, people like Olamide, who have now made hip-hop a part of the culture, right? That the everyday Nigerian now understands the context because the hardest thing to do is take a culture and blend it with your own culture to create something, which is what Olamide has done. Or people like Emi, who made hip hop very sociable. Or people like Ice Prince, who celebrated right life with hip hop and made it trendy. Or people like Mode 9, who showed us skill. Or Rugged Man, who showed us you can actually break walls with music. These are the kind of people we need promoting hip hop even more. But it seems like, apart from these guys I called, and I mean, there are a host of other guys who are doing great stuff, but it seems like you're scared. It seems like it's impossible. And that's why hip-hop sucks right now in Nigeria. If I tell you to name top 20 hip-hop artists, it's a struggle. You can do it with pop music. You can do it with R&B. You can do it with gospel. You can do it with Juju. You can do it with Fuji music, but you can't do it with hip-hop. Why? Okay. You've mentioned some, some legends right now who are their pick during the golden era of Nigerian hip hop. Yeah. It's crazy we even have a golden era of Nigerian hip hop and hip hop is just 17 years old in Nigeria. Yes, okay, yeah, we have the, 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 golden, the, the guys in the golden era. Do you think these guys fail to pass the torch accurately? And this is why we have this problem right now. Because if you look at the American scene right now, a great, a legendary rapper will sign other guys and put them on, and those other guys will sign other guys and put them on. But in Nigeria, it seems we did not have that culture, and that is what's causing this downturn in hip hop. Right now. Well, I mean, you could always mention that you could you could call it a part of the problem where you know you know you had like successful hip hop artists who you know um, at, at one point in their life they were at their peak and they 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 didn't pass the torch to anybody. But I mean, for every one person you want to call like that, I can call like an MI who put Jesse and Ice Prince on, or who released a mixtape in 2012, Illegal Music 2, and put at least 10 to 15 rappers on it, right? So it's not a problem. It could be a problem, but I, I, I wouldn't call it a problem. Olamide put cash on, you know. Olamide came in 2011, three years later, put cash on. It's been three years since cash dropped Shocky. Who did he put on? Nobody. So you might have a point there, right? Yeah. Or like Neto C, who at the po high point of his career didn't decide to sign anybody or to put anybody on, to pass the torch, like the Hobbes have done, like the Nazis have done, like the Recrosses have done. So it is part of the problem. I would, I'll, I'll have to admit, yes, it is part of the problem. Okay. Now let's look at this from the continental point of view. Right now, South Africa is killing the hip hop. South Africa is South Africa is murdering us. What is South Africa doing that we are not doing? Because at one point we were killing them in the hip hop game. Then all of a sudden it changed. What did they get right and what did we get wrong? South Africa has been able. South African rappers who are doing a fantastic job right now. Casper Nuves was on the Breakfast Club, killing it, right? Killing it. I haven't seen you know any African hip hop artists do that on the international stage. And Casper Novia's interview was solid. Very 
Now, what these guys are doing is very simple. They've taken the hip-hop culture and immersed it in their own culture. Do you understand? So, they make it a way of living. It's their natural life. They are living their life. The kind of music they create is about their life. Look at the kind of music our hip-hop artists are creating. It is not relatable. They're just rapping about... It's not about just no, rapping and dropping bars. Like you said, it's not organic. I can't relate to it. It almost seems like you're rapping out of place or you're creating something that nobody can relate to. And that's why Olamide is the greatest Nigerian rapper ever because he's been able to do that clearly and successfully. We don't have a lot of hip-hop artists imbibing their, or, or, or taking the hip-hop culture and immersing it into their way of life. So it almost seems like I can't relate. And when you can't relate to someone's struggle, you can't relate to someone's honesty or someone's truth, then it is hard. Only a few of these artists do it. Reminis does it at times. He shows you that flash of brilliance when he actually takes his life and, you know, wraps it around the music. And that's when we love him the most. But most of the people right now don't care. Most of the hip-hop artists don't care. It just seems like, man, how do I tap into Whiskey's fans? How do I tap into Davido's fans? How can I get a bit of Tiwa Savage's fans? Okay, if I do a record like this and put this person on it, maybe it will sound this way. But it doesn't make sense because the core, you know, your, your core audience don't like it. And your core audience might not be as many as Davido or Whiskey or any other pop, cult, pop artist's core audience. But you have to grow it. As a stranger in another man's land, you can never ever dominate. You can only dominate in your own territory. So why don't you conquer your territory and be the best who you can be? <coughs> Before we wrap this up, let me put you on the spot. Who do you consider as the icons of Nigerian hip hop? There are only six icons of Nigerian hip hop right now. Yeah. Mode 9, mm -hmm. Idris Abdul Karim, Emma Abaga, Rugged Man, LD The Dawn, and Olamide. Wow. Fuck your list. <laughs> okay. So people heads might disagree, but you know what? Let's move on. How do we get back to, to the point where uh, hip hop is viable right now in this country, where it is scorching hot again, and where we are the best in Africa? How do we get to that point? It's a collective responsibility. The media has to play its part. We need to, you know, tell more stories about hip hop. I think even for the media's part, we need to even go back to the past and relieve all these experiences, tell all these stories. So put, you know, get an Idris Abdul Karim and do an interview and let him give you a tell all of his experience. These stories might actually inspire the new generation of hip hop artists coming up, the Idris Kings, you know, the Gino Bambinos and all these other guys to even do better, right? Those, that's the first thing the media has to do. Then we have to create platforms that actually showcase hip hop artists. So is it, you know, freestyle sessions, you know, uh, a, a, a show that just, you know, just, just highlights and showcases hip hop artists only. You know, that would make a lot of sense. Then you have to have award shows that just, you know, celebrate hip hop artists. The BET Hip Hop Awards is there. You know, they have another award in the UK. Why don't we have ours in Nigeria? What's going on and what's stopping us? These are the kind of things we need to do. Create these platforms and, you know, highlight and showcase and create an agenda. And more importantly, or most importantly, hip hop artists need to unite. It's a lot of bickering. It's a lot of bickering. Hip hop artists need to unite. We need to see more collaborations. We need to see more DJs, hip hop DJs, putting these hip hop artists on, like the DJ Khaled did with his first, I think, five albums, where he was just putting rappers on. We need to have more collaboration with artists. And most importantly, Nigerian artists need to make great songs. They need to make great hip hop songs. They need to make great hip hop albums. We've not had a great hip hop album in a while. They need to create great hip hop albums that people will listen to, digest, and share, and share, and share. Facts on it. Welcome to Fallsville Luxury Hotel. At Fallsville Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24-hour power supply, full air condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fallsville Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one, Adeline Roba Michele, off Raja Rasaki Road, First Estate, Amuo, or the Fifest Tag Village. For more information or reservation, please call us on 80 75 or 80 
0601. You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fossvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Fossvhotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.